The Baltimore Ravens have identified themselves as the team to beat in the AFC. Because yeah. that defense is elite. Yeah. Lamar Jackson playing at an MVP level. Yeah. The Ravens are really good. The path is really easy. It is a Super Bowl or bust year for Lamar Jackson in my mind. Any team now wanting to challenge the Ravens for a spot in the Super Bowl will have to beat them at home, which has proven a remarkably difficult task so far this season. Several of the best offenses have tried to go in there and beat them, and they have not done it. The Detroit Lions and Seattle Seahawks only got to three points, and most recently, the Miami Dolphins rolled into town with the highest scoring offense in the NFL, only to be humiliated 56 to 19. So what makes this the best Ravens team that they've put on their field in their team history? And what's the truth about this team that they aren't telling you to claim their third Super Bowl title. This defense is the reason why the Baltimore Ravens is the number one seed in the AFC point blank period. Lamar Action Jackson is helping, but this defense is playing at a high, high level in every single category this season. They <clears> playing <throat> big time football. I'm taking the defense. Well, of course, we've all witnessed how good Lamar Jackson has been this season, and he's the front runner for the MVP for a reason. Todd Mockin's offense and the addition of the likes of Odell Beckham and rookie Zay Flowers have given the Ravens offense its best shot yet at claiming a title during the Lamar era. More than anything though, Lamar is healthy for the playoffs, something that has eluded him for the previous two seasons. But it's not just Lamar and the explosive Ravens offense that's putting them as the best team in the NFL. This is the best Ravens defense we've seen since Ray Lewis came steaming out of the tunnel. And I'd even argue that this defense is better than some of the early 2000 Ravens defenses. What we're witnessing is a defense carefully curated over the past couple of seasons to counter just about anything an offense throws at it. Like, listen to some of these stats. Only three teams are allowing less total yards than the Ravens in 2023. And honestly, Baltimore is making it look easier than anybody else in the NFL. This team is giving up barely 300 yards of total offense per game. That's 20 yards a game less than last year's defense, which was still considered to be one of the best in the league. But to understand the truth of this defense, we need to understand the defensive system. This is the best defense in football. They're getting after this team. They turn every team into the worst offense in football as far as their pass defense is concerned. The pass rush is outstanding. The coverage is multiple, complex, and incredibly smart. They're going to be a tough team to beat, especially if that offense gets going. In the past two seasons, the Ravens have gotten better and better on the defensive side of the ball, largely thanks to the introduction of Mike McDonald as the team's defensive coordinator. McDonald had been with the Ravens since 2014, working his way through the ranks from an intern all the way up to the team's linebacker coach between 2018 and 2020. He then departed to go and join Jim Harbaugh's Michigan Wolverines in 2021, serving as the defensive coordinator for that season. One year later, he's back with John and he's built one of the most stout and best defenses in the NFL. His system relies heavily on mixing up blitzes and confusing the offensive line at the line of scrimmage. McDonald creates havoc at the line, often showing heavy blitz before dropping guys out into coverage, including his defensive tackles. I mean, hell, in a game against the Detroit Lions, McDonald's choice to drop defensive tackles Brandon Steffens, Michael Pierce, and Broderick Washington into coverage confused the hell out of Jared Goff that game. They do this to take away reads over the middle, and it's proven to be successful multiple times this season. McDonald pairs this with safety and corner blitzes and then rotating the defense to help pick up coverage in those holes. And don't get me wrong, this is a very complex defense, but it's unique to the Ravens and that's why they've been having so many successful wins this year. Baltimore has done a superb job in building a talented roster to execute at the highest level. And now we're seeing that perfect storm of defensive scheme meets elite personnel in 2023. And in order to run this complex and very confusing defense, you have to have superb athletes, and that's exactly what they've got. But when you roll into Baltimore and you look across from you, you got that big motherfucker inside, and you got Matabike, you've, you've got those two big, huge edge guys. Oh, wait, looks like a 
and GI Joe. Yeah. Um, Clowny's huge. They're all they're just big and physical. I think sometimes we we you can't measure that on. And film. then the second level moves fast, and they're just as physical as the front. First of all, the trade for Roquan Smith has been one of the best decisions general manager Eric DaCosta has made. The Ravens acquired the disgruntled linebacker from Chicago in exchange for a second and fifth round pick plus AJ Klein in October of 2022. Then in January of 2023, made a statement by extending him with a five year deal. Smith anchors this defense, but him paired with Patrick Queen, that is a linebacker core that is unmatched and unrivaled in the NFL. I'd even say that they're a better linebacker duo than Fred Warner and Dre Greenlaw in San Francisco. They can just cover sideline to sideline with great instincts. Roquan isn't the only major addition the team has made though. In free agency in 2022, the team covered a need at safety by going and getting one of the biggest defensive talents available. Former New Orleans Saints safety Marcus Williams had posted over 250 tackles and 15 interceptions in his first five years in the league and hit free agency ready to sign a big deal with a new team. The Ravens put their hands in their pockets and signed him to a $70 million deal and then a month later drafted his new partner on the back end. Kyle Hamilton was one of the biggest freaks of nature in the 2022 NFL draft and now is one of the most pivotal pieces of this elite Ravens defense. I mean, people are even starting to now compare him to the likes of Ed Reed. And the more I'm starting to talk about this team right now, the more I'm starting to see shades of those early 2000 Ravens defenses in this team right now. Baltimore hosted one of the greatest safeties in the history of the game in Ed Reed, a certified Hall of Famer and Ravens legend. But by the time Hamilton is done playing, he could be up there right with him. Coming out of Notre Dame, Kyle Hamilton was graded as an elite NFL prospect. He just needed to find the right fit in the league. He's six foot four, 220 pounds with a huge wingspan, a very rare build for a player of his position. Not only is he taller, heavier, and a standout tackler, but could also cover man-to-man -man and in zone as a deep safety. Baltimore didn't flinch, drafting him at 14 in the first round of the 2022 draft. And now in his second season in the NFL, the pick is paying off. Hamilton has notched four interceptions in 2023, second only to Geno Stone, and is emerging as one of the league's brightest young stars on defense. I mean, Hamilton literally lines up everywhere on the field. He's what the Cardinals would hope that Isaiah Simmons was and never turned out to be. He's in the box, coming off the edge, covering in the slot and lining up at free safety. And when you pair him with Marcus Williams, the support of Geno Stone, quarterbacks get no rest when looking downfield. I mean, we saw this exact scenario when they were playing the 49ers when Brock Purdy was looking downfield for Debo Samuel. Kyle Hamilton was agile enough to break back towards the football and pick it off, resulting in the first of four interceptions against one of the league's most clinical quarterbacks this season. And I mean, when you had two superb safeties to a defense that already has a pro bowler in Marlon Humphreys, you're guaranteed to have success. Humphrey had a down year earlier in the season compared to his typical standards, but has regained form just in time for a Super Bowl run. While Humphrey is balling again, the unsung hero of this defense, without a doubt, is Brandon Steffens. This year, Steffens is playing at a Pro Bowl level like many others on this defense and contributing to the immense depth across the board. Any good Super Bowl contender typically finds the perfect blend of veterans and young talent, and this Ravens defense is the epitome of that. The front seven alone is a perfect example of how you build out a perfect defensive roster. We've already discussed the linebackers, Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen, but when you look at the pass rushers and defensive linemen, the work the front office has done continues to shine. Veteran defensive tackle Michael Pierce was originally an undrafted free agent with the Ravens in 2016. He stayed until 2019 before signing with the Vikings, but returned in 2022 as a veteran leader on the defense. Jadavion Clowney is another veteran who's been around the league and consistently produced at a high level. At this point in his career, he is a mercenary, a gun for hire, and a guy that can provide valuable depth and pressure off of the edge. After a down year in Cleveland in 2022 where Clowney had fallen out of favor, it was Baltimore who gave him a shot at redemption. The result in McDonald's defensive scheme has been outstanding, with Clowney rebounding to nine sacks and a career-high 69 QB pressures, forcing a fumble in the process.
process. Strength and depth is key, and Clowney provides a great partnership with some of the young pass rushers on the Ravens roster. Third year edge rusher Odafe Owe has been able to apply consistent pressure with his combination of speed and power coming off of the edge. And there's no doubt he values the experience of working with Jadavion Clowney every single day. Like this defense is insane. You have pass rushers, you have guys that can stuff the run, and hell, you even have guys that can drop into coverage off the defensive line. Linebackers covering sideline to sideline and DBs that can blanket wide receivers. This defense is insane. And I mean, they have the performances to back up how good they are against some of the NFL's best teams. Baltimore has the best turnover differential in the NFL and has forced interceptions and fumbles against the league's best all season long. Against Miami, the Ravens forced two interceptions off of Tua and recovered a fumble too. In the game against the 49ers, Purdy threw four interceptions and then Sam Darnold came in to throw another. Baltimore forced two fumbles against Jacksonville, an interception off of Justin Herbert and three recovered fumbles against the Chargers. Do you see where I'm going with this and how their defense just forces turnovers? As a team, they are allowing just 16.4 points per game. That's the lowest number in the league by a considerable margin. And once again, points towards this Ravens defense being one of the very best in the history of the NFL. Having a defense that not only refuses points, but also forces turnovers and puts the football back in Lamar Jackson's hands is a recipe for success. The Ravens offense has the ability to put points on the board through the air better than they ever have before. We've never seen Lamar Jackson have so much freedom to throw the ball in his flicker of the wrist release and underappreciated arm talent is showing up on tape now in 2023. Lamar is the favorite to land his second MVP and this time in a very different fashion to the one he claimed in 2019. The Ravens quarterback will no doubt owe a lot of that success to the stellar defense he suits up with and as a roster it wouldn't be surprising to see them all claiming rings at the end of the 2023 season. But I want you guys to let me know now in the comment section below should they win the Super Bowl this year? Are they going to cement themselves as one of the best defenses in franchise history and possibly in NFL history? Let me know down below and I will catch you guys in the next one.